Hey guys, it's General Heed here today. How is everyone doing? So for t today's video, we are going to be tackling the question of what happens if you surrender to the Overseer in Fallout 3 at the very beginning of the game. So during this part where you're supposed to escape from the vault, um, we eventually we get close to the Overseer's office, but not before we encounter the Overseer interrogating his own daughter here. Which, you know, is kind of a messed up thing for him to do. Uh, but as we all know, the Overseer is, you know, kind of a jerk. And he, uh, not only is he, a, is he a, like a jerk to you here, but later on, if you uh, let him live, he, uh, he, he goes mad with power, essentially. And it's pretty much like causes everything to go, to go like crazy in the vault if you leave. So anyways, uh, after clearing this part, you have the chance to talk to the Overseer. And let's just see what happens here if we surrender to him. Because we'll have the option to do that. Trouble as it is. Don't make it worse for yourself. A regrettable incident. But will killing me bring back your friend? Think a moment. If you really care about your fellow citizens, killing me is the worst thing you could do. Without an Overseer, the Vault would be plunged into chaos and disaster. Surely you can see that as well as I. Come now, turn yourself in and we can resolve this whole thing peacefully. Just because your father betrayed us doesn't mean you have to. Thank you. That will make this easier. Gods, help me! I knew you'd turn up sooner or later. You shouldn't have tried to run! So yeah, as you can see there, if you turn on the Overseer, I mean, if you turn yourself into the Overseer, uh, if you surrender to him, then he will turn on you and betray you and just start killing you with whatever weapon you gave him. Now, he can actually hold a variety of weapons, but there are actually some limits to what he can hold. For example here, I tried to see what happens if I um, if I use this laser turret and give it to him, but it would seem like he cannot hold... Um, actually, I don't know why he's like waving here. Like, I don't know what's going on there. But anyways, um, I tried... Obviously, I had the mod to give myself the laser turret, uh, the Gatling laser, but if we, uh, we skip ahead a little bit, if I surrender to him, he doesn't take my Gatling laser. He uh, he just tries he just tries to go like hand to hand with me, or picks up like a baton somewhere, and attacks me with that against my laser turret. But yeah, so he can't hold that probably because it's like a heavy weapon. But <clears throat> then I tried like a uh, smaller weapon, like the plasma rifle, to see if he can hold that. But he doesn't take that either, as you can see here. So. While he can hold quite a few weapons, like the baseball bat, BB gun, or the uh, just the pistol, it seems like he can't hold some more advanced weapons, I guess. Another funny thing is, if you give him like a melee weapon, he will actually chase you down, even all the way to Amada's room, and he will actually try to like murder you right in front of Amada, and the whole time, like she has like no response either. Um, it's. It's all like a really funny scenario in this case if you surrender to the Overseer with a melee weapon. You can even talk to Amada, and she just talks to you like normally. Like, <laughs> she just she doesn't even realize that her father's like literally right in front of her trying to kill me. But anyways, uh, let's see what happens uh, if we just let this part play out and I um I kill the Overseer here. I always. Who's new to come to this? My god, what have you done? You killed him! Why would you kill my father? Alright, so, there you have it. Um, even though he's like right in front of me trying to like, trying to murder me with a baseball bat, if I like kill him uh, in front of her, then she still freaks out and questions like why I would even do that. Which is, which is kind of funny, um, but obviously this is a little out of like her scripted responses to the scenario. 
But anyways, now that the overseer is dead at this point, I can't um, talk to you right now. he'll stay permanently dead. So if you surrender to the overseer, he'll try to kill you. And you can... Yeah, there's not really much you can do at that point. You, have to, you pretty much have to defend yourself and kill him. Or you could try to like run with him chasing you the entire way. But that's basically it. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to leave a like and leave your thoughts in the comments. If there's anything else you want me to try out or test out, just let me know, and I'll do my best to look into it. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.